fans welcome you found us it's this week in the blues the latest episode of our weekly look at blues history i'm your host jimbo big train Matson with big train and the loco motives so let's take a look at what happened this week in blues history let's start off with the june 11th birthday of blues guitarist monster mike welch he was nominated for a Blues Music Award in 2017, 18, and 19. Welch is a member of Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones. Welch has performed and recorded with Duke Robillard, Nick Moss, Johnny Winter, and Jimmy Vaughn, just to name a few. Back in 1893, on June 11th, or possibly June 17th, female blues singer Coot Grant was born. The first part of her stage name came from her childhood nickname, Cutie. She was popular with African-American audiences from the 1910s to the early 1930s. The sweetheart of the blues, Bonnie Lee, was born June 11th in 1931. With her powerful, sweet voice, Bonnie Lee was a longtime fixture in Chicago's contemporary blues scene, as well as one of the last surviving links to its post-war heyday. She is best remembered for her lengthy working relationships with pianist Sunnyland Slim and bass player Willie Kent. June 12th marks the birthday of blues guitarist Kenny Wayne Shepherd. The Shreveport native began playing at the age of seven, figuring out Muddy Waters licks from his father's record collection, despite never taking a formal lesson. Signing to a major record label deal at the age of 13, He's been nominated for five Grammy Awards, has received two Billboard Music Awards, two Blues Awards, and two Orville H. Gibson Awards. Charlie Patton recorded Pony Blues on June 14th in 1929. Patton wrote Pony Blues sometime around the age of 19, was the first song that he wrote. With the help of record store owner H.C. Spear, Patton obtained his first recording session for Paramount Records. He cut 14 sides, including Pony Blues, Banty Rooster Blues, and Down the Dirt Road. Pony Blues was also the first song to be released by Patton on the Paramount label. On June 16th in 1980, the Blues Brothers premiered in Chicago, Illinois, where most of it was filmed. It was released nationally four days later. It features musical numbers by James Brown, Cab Calloway, which was his final film feature role, Aretha Franklin, Ray Charles, Chaka Khan, Big Walter Horton, Pine Top Perkins, and John Lee Hooker. Other cameos include Steven Spielberg, Paul Rubens, who you know as Pee Wee Herman, Eagles guitarist Joe Walsh, and singer-songwriter Stephen Bishop. In the year 2020, the film was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Finally, on June 16, 1938, Tampa Red first recorded the blues standard Love with a Feeling in Chicago. Numerous blues artists have interpreted and recorded the song. When Freddie King adapted it in 1961, it became his first single to appear in the record charts. Well, we just covered some of the highlights here. If you want to know more about these artists or the other things that happened this week in the blues, be sure to follow our social media pages or visit our website at BigTrainBlues.com. We'll have a new episode next week. We'll see you then. Bye.